Jay Schnorr has been working in the metaverse for the last several years. As CEO and founder of VEDEX, an education and tech XR solutions firm, Jay has been building partnerships, relationships, and metaverses in several apps, such as Multiverse, Remio, and Engage. VEDEX's goal is to expand schools and universities' ability to engage their students and to provide educational opportunities that offer more options for study, recreation, and networking. Jay and I met in Remio to discuss some of the team building options that students and faculty can already make use of today. You know, one of the most uh, exciting things that has happened is that we have been able to combine the experiences of a few different platforms into something that is really usable at institutions and schools. So here we are in the recreation campus for uh, uh, institutions. So students can come in here and have a place, especially online students, uh, to uh, conglomerate. And it doesn't need to be uh, it doesn't need to be for something. It can just be coming in. And the great thing is there's games uh, here. These are just kind of fun fun here in the bar, but there's also group work. You can see the dry board up over there. Uh, and then there's a lot of places that you can go throughout all of this space. Um, so uh, here you can see it's more just like a chat room, but can I take us somewhere? Um, so I'm gonna recording? take us to a space that's pretty exciting. So we're gonna jump over to the island. Uh... This is kind of the central hub. So we just came from the little bar VR recreation area. And inside of here, you can do all kinds of different things, but let me show you uh, the specific uh, way to my store. So last year when I talked to you, you just follow me. Last year when I talked to you, we were in the multiverse and I was telling you uh, or the Infiniverse, and I was telling you about the creation of the education district and the schools that will be recruiting there. And now, uh, when those schools uh, sign up with us, not only do they get a recruitment face to their product, but they also get this private recreational space for their campus. So um, e even better is that when that school comes in here, uh, they can go back and forth between here and the multiverse or the infiniverse. So they can go from a public place into a, a private uh, campus where they can play games as teams. So as you saw, we just came from uh, this bar VR here. But then if we wanted to head off to the uh, multiverse, we come over here and we pop through this door. And you can see there I have it deep linked to my city store. So anybody that's in the, this campus can jump on over to their city store or their Infiniverse space, which is great because you can go back and forth, you know, more a public space, Infiniverse. I know they have some private rooms, but as far as going from that sort of Infiniverse street level into a recreational campus with lots of games. So as far as the business model is, we're framing this as uh, every school needs a recreational space for their students. And so that's that's just part of what we are promoting. Um, when you're in the Infiniverse and thinking about the uh, uh, teams and corporations there, corporate headquarters also need recreational spaces for their team. Creating a business in the virtual reality space, I mean, I think one of the most important parts about that, uh, and from our perspective, is to build it in long term. We know this is a long play, just like the store in the Infiniverse. That's just going to build. There's just going to be more and more people. I think what needs to happen is everybody that has built a, a business inside of uh, VR, or I should say extended, most likely their business from 2D into VR, need to really reach out to their uh, potential customers, current customers, and really just educate them that it that it exists because it is still uh, early adoption. But being a first mover means having to take on some barriers that not everybody has to take on with their business.
And virtual reality, uh, you know, um, it is an amazing opportunity, but just not quite as well known as jumping on a web page. One thing that's exciting, uh, Allison, and as far as the model and moving forward uh, with combining some of these uh, capabilities of different apps is that each one has its specific reason for existence. And um, I'm so excited about the Infinite Citizen uh, model that is being built because, sure, you can cruise into somewhere like this and be like, oh, it's cool. Um, what do I do now? Where do I go? Who's there to help me? I mean, you can go explore on your own, but it's so much easier if there's an orientation. And um, I mean, let's let's jump through into the VEDEX store here. So just let's walk through that door. Just walk into it and you'll go this one, right? Yep. So here we are in the store. Like I was saying, though, um, if you become an Infinite Citizen, you land in the Infinite Citizen store and uh, get that orientation as a business that's needed. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see that come online uh, and take people from being a guest to being a citizen.